everybody, my name is Molly Meep and welcome back to Miso or Misayo, yes, yes, yes. So alright you guys, this might just indeed be the very final episode to Miso. So let's go ahead and jump right back into the spooktacular adventures on the land of babies and see just what lies up ahead. Alrighty then, here we go. Okay, so, um... I think that there's a grave up here and probably a grave this way. From what I remember, it said that the man who really killed Misao was that way. Wait, no. That way? Yeah, that way. So let's go. Okay. I see something on the ground. ground. What is that? There's something on the ground. Pick it up. Yes. What is it? This is Ayaka's hairpin. Uh-oh. Oh, flashback! Oh, am I gonna find out the truth the truth of what happened? That's me and Ayaka! Ayaka, that really doesn't matter right now, so let's get somewhere safe! No way! I can see everything and I haven't even looked in the bottom drawer! You can pass up the opportunity, but I won't! Fine, what do I care? <laughs> yep, later! Ah, this is Ophelia's stationery, no mistake. It's Ophelia's. What do I care, she says, and out comes a love letter. Well, let's see what kind of juiciness is in this sucker. Uh-oh. This is a cursed letter. If you don't send this to five other people in a week, you will be cursed. Oh, God, it's one of those stupid chain letter things. <laughs> Jeez. All right, time to check out the lower drawer. What have we here? Uh-oh. Oh! Yeah! What are these arms? What? Mr. Soda's desk? Why, what? Are these real? No, can't, can't be! Uh-oh. Don't touch that! Yeah! Good, still not rotten. Your body truly is miraculous to stay fresh for over three months. Ew! All the more to love. Oh, this guy's sick. Mmm. Eek! This guy's nuts. Yeah, I agree with you. And you, you saw my secret. No! no, no! You can't escape. So that's what happened. Okay, I can't search anything, so I guess I just go after them. Oh, the truth behind what happened in this room. I got you. No running away now. Pat, pat, pat. About earlier. Don't tell anyone, will you? It's a secret between us. No, no, no! I see. That's unfortunate. Then I'll have to kill you. Uh-oh. Ayaka and Mr. Soda! Ah, uh, help! Ayaka? Calm down. The monsters are gone, Ayaka. Teacher, what happened to Ayaka? She was in a panic after being attacked by a monster. No, don't be fooled. He was trying to kill me. Ayaka, you were attacked. I told you to escape somewhere safe. Hold on. She should stay here and rest. But... Don't worry, I'll be with her. All right, I'm counting on you to look after Ayaka. I'll look around a bit more. Huh? No, wait, wait, don't go! Wait a moment. I think I have a tranquilizer on my desk in the staff room. Could you bring it to me? It may help her calm down a little. Got it. Be careful, don't you dare die out there. You're one of my best students. Don't let him trick you like this. Sir, thank you very much. Wait, Ophelia, don't go! Help me! Help! Now then, no one to get in the way. No! Oh no. I can't run like this. Thinking you can get away from me. Oh no. Bye-bye, uh, Ayaka. Idiot girl. You were the one who thought me flawless. Oh. 
It's the slippy, sloppy sounds of death. So that's what really happened. This guy's a crazy some bitch. Mr. Soda killed Ayaka? I'm so sorry I didn't notice Ayaka. Ugh. But that's strange. Why didn't Misao's body rot? That is also the power of her curse. Even in pieces, she desperately tried to live. She was very keen on sticking around. Can I quick save? I can. Okay then. I got a feeling this is Soda's grave. Soda's grave, indeed it is. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret it. Touch it? Sure. Touch, touch. And in I go. <laughs> okay then, hi. Where is this? It's a pervert's room, that's what it is. Oh, hi. I think I'm just gonna take a nap. No, not really. There's probably some disgusting stuff in that bed. <laughs> the screen is lit up. Inspect it? Uh, okay. I was satisfied at first. I enjoyed being loved by all. But suddenly, it was all hollow. It wasn't me who everyone loved. It was my mask. Mm-mm. Flashback! Huh? Is that Ayaka? Ayaka! Over here, Ayaka! She doesn't notice. Yeah, well, probably because I'm a ghosty ghost. Mr. Soda! Mr. Soda is totally the best. A little mysterious, but that only makes him even better. Lucky Ayaka having him for homeroom. I am so jealous. Ah, oh, Mr. Soda, you're just so beautiful. He's got a great face. Way better than any of those boys. Uh-oh. And his personality is killer, too. Indeed, he is a killer. That I will say. Totally kind and reliable. That's teacher's biggest charm. He's not all appearance. Okay, then. Can I move? Oh, I can. She doesn't seem to see Ophelia. She doesn't see me either. What about you? I wonder if I can get Mr. Soda's number. She doesn't seem to see Ophelia. Nobody sees me! Oh, I can quick save. Okay. Uh, do I go in here? Nope. About there. Nope. Alright, I guess I'm going after Mr. Soda. Oh! Damn it! Everyone always goes on about my appearance! These, those idiotic girls! This, this isn't my face! Okay, then. Hey, what the hell? Oh, come back here! Where are you going? Uh-oh. Hi. Uh... Think I really want to go near him? He's probably gonna stab my deathly ghost spirit and send me back to another world. Okay, then. Alright. Oh, well, okay, goodbye. <laughs> I guess that was nothing. Found a yearbook. Look inside. Sure, why not? I want a Snoopy Snoop. Ugh, probably gonna find stuff I don't want to see. I don't want to see, see, see. Oh. What does that say? Hideki Soda. Soda? Could this be Mr. Soda? I don't see what's so wrong with him. I mean, I don't know why he had to turn into a crazy psycho. It's just a butt-stabbing psycho teacher. He didn't look half bad. What? What are you doing here, Soda? Mr. Soda? You just stink up the class. Go home, you filth. Oh, he was bullied. She dropped her handkerchief. Should I give it to her? Uh, er... Huh? What? What is it? Y you dropped your handkerchief. No way! Ew! Soda touched it! Huh? 
Don't touch my things with those filthy hands of yours. I I'm sorry. I'll give it back. I don't want it back now. You're gross. <coughs> Soda, you jerk. You're making girls cry. You're the worst. Don't even bring your grubby mitts to school. Well, that's just mean. No one accepts me. Aw, oh, that's so sad. Was that teacher's past? Is there anything else in here that I need to see before I go into the land of death? Okay, doesn't look like it. Alrighty then. Here we go. Seems you could fit inside. Do I need to hide from something? No one accepts me. You can't run anymore. What? What the hell just happened? I'm gonna keep going! What the hell is that shit? Okay, why can't I- why can't I hide? Alright, so maybe I gotta hide in the closet. Okay, no one accepts me. Ah! 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 Get in the closet! Go! Go in the closet! I didn't know I could hide in the closet! Well, when he came out. Well, what do I do? Come out? Is it over? <laughs> Is the nightmare over? Okay. Save. Yes. Please. Okay. Can I search anything in here? Is this the kitchen of death? Meow. I got a flashback with the kitty cat? Oh. Why? Why does everyone reject me? I hate it. I... Meow? A cat? It's wounded. Meow? You look so fragile. I need to get you to a hospital. Hang in there, I'm going to help you. I'm sorry, but she's beyond saving. No! Oh, I can move, okay. I'm sorry. If only I had found you sooner, maybe I could have... Teacher. Yeah, I feel bad for you and all, but still no excuse that you murdered my ass! Meow? Oh, goodbye, kitty. No one ever accepts me. That's what I thought. But she was different. You really gonna eat that thing? Loser! This dump is the perfect place for soda, huh? Ah ha ha ha! You said it! Hey, say something! You're lame! Let's go! <sighs> Are you okay? Takano. She... she was in Mr. Soda's class. Do you mind if I sit with you? Huh? It's okay if you don't want me, sorry. N no nothing like that. So I can? I yeah. What do I do? What do I say? Takano's not saying anything either. Why did Takano talk to me? Ah, Takano's hands are so pretty. Hey, do you always eat, eat lunch here? Uh, uh, yeah. 
I see. It's nice here. It's quiet and calming. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah. Sorry. What is it? I couldn't do anything when you were being teased. D don't Can I come again tomorrow? Uh... Let's eat lunch together! Huh? Y you If you eat with me, you'll just be teased. I don't mind. I've decided I won't back down. I was feigning ignorance out of fear. I always turn from reality, but I'm going to stop. From now on, I'll protect you, Soda. What? Am I bothering you? N no that is you're not but but, but. I it's surely you can't I if you got teased because of me I I mean I'd feel guilty and having a girl stand up for me I I'll just be teased more I I guess so I'm sorry uh but, but I really appreciate the thought well sorry for bringing it up N no it's Still, it won't change that I want to protect you, Soda. Come to me anytime you're in trouble. I'll help you with anything. T Takano. Th 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 thank you. Hey, I want to know you better, Soda. She was the first, the first to accept me. I was so, so happy. All right, then. We're finding out some deep emotional stuff here. We met there every day afterward. We didn't talk to each other. We just spent the time together. Conversation wasn't necessary. My heart was at ease with her there. We were happy. Ah, <sighs> that cloud looks like a sheep. Bah! It's true! It's cute! Y yeah Takano's smiling. She's cute, too. I loved her hands, and her voice, and her smile. I fell for her, my first love. I... I love Takano. Yes, I do. I really do. I love her. Love, love, love. T Takano. Huh? Soda? What's the matter? L let go! Uh, t taka No, I... I love you. Huh? What? Um, so... I love you. I love you, Takano. Ah! T taka You creep! Huh? Why? I... I'm sorry. Why? I thought you accepted me. Why? 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 Um, look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to get close to you for that kind of thing. I just felt bad for you, Soda. Sorry, it's nothing. We should stop meeting here, okay? Huh? No. No. Why? Why? Why won't anyone accept me? Yeah! Why? Why won't anyone accept me? Soda, stop! Why? Why? Somebody help! Soda, what are you doing? Ah! No one accepts me. No one. So he finally snapped. Yep, that'll do it. You think I'm disgusting too, don't you? Well, kind of considering after all the things you've done, yeah. You're not a very nice, a nice person. All right then. Continuing on. Oh. 
Why is there slippy, slappy, squishy, dishy sounds of death from the next room? I can't quick save anymore. Okay then. I guess I'm continuing on. Into the slippy, slappy goo of death. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting loud in my ears now. Squishy, wishy, do. Oh. Oh, let me guess, it's the chippa chopping sounds of me sal being chopped, right? Ah, oh, come on, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. All right then, enough. Ah. Oh. Why? Why does no one accept me? What did I ever do? Teacher. What did you do? You brutally murdered a bunch of people. That's what you did. My face. I thought if I changed my face. Yes, things did change. It was a complete turnaround. Everyone welcomed me. I was accepted at last. I was happy. But I soon realized it wasn't me who people were welcome to. It was my face. No one looked inside me, always my appearance. This fabricated face, this isn't me. It's not me who was loved, just this fake face. I've never been loved for me. Sploosh. <laughs> That's not true, teacher. Everyone knows Mr. Soda's a kind of reliable teacher. They, they... And I know you're really a nice person, Mr. Soda. Just a little awkward sometimes. And I like you for who you are. Even though you killed me and stabbed me in the back. W Teacher, you don't have to be sad. I, everyone, we all love our kind teacher. <laughs> ah! Aki has two kind of a heart, just like me. Sleeping peacefully. This kitty was happy being cared for in its last moments. Aww. Alright then. I guess I have finally freed Soda. But there's no baby, just a kitty. Hey! I want to save! Yes! Thank you! <laughs> okay then! <laughs> wow! Whew, it is starting to get really dark secrety up in here. So alright then, I don't know if I should go ahead and just cut the episode here or if I should continue forward and just finish the very final bits of this game. I have a feeling there's only one thing left to do as you do and I'm not sure what it is. Now oh, what the hell, let's go ahead and just wrap it all up with a pretty little bow, shall we? Alright then! Here we go! Toma's grave! Okay then, it looks like my last mission is with Toma! Okay! What is Toma's secret? Besides being a cheating douchebag who uses and seduces women! Toma's grave? So Toma is in here! Looks like it! So Misa possessed Toma to drag him into the other world! Touch it! There's no going back! Alright, well I came this far, so no going back now! Yes! Oh boy! Oh, hello! Miso! Stay back! The others can go free, but I won't give you Toma! Why not Toma? Toma was just playing you! I know, and I hate him for it, but Toma... I hate him so much, yet I love him. It's strange. If you love Toma, then free him for his sake! Ophelia, Ophelia, you love him too, don't you? Huh? I... I just had an idea. Ophelia, you should stay here too. I, I'd rather not! We can get along here, the three of us, happy together. Uh, I, again, I don't think that's a good idea. That... I can't! Toma! Mm-hmm. Well, I'm a monster! T-Toma! It's just 
Me! Me, so! I'm not a mu- Yeah! Go away! Monster! Toma! We can't live happily together. Misao, look at yourself in this mirror. How do you think you look? Uh-oh. It can't be. <laughs> Toma, he's all spaz running. This is me? No, no! Misao. No! Don't look! Don't look at me! Oh, I can move. Okay. Oh, are you done spazzing out, Toma? Get me out of here! <laughs> Jeez, calm down, dude. Uh, why? Why does all this happen to me? What did I do? Tell me! Misao. I wanted to live a long life. I wanted to be happy with someone. I don't want to be alone again. I'm scared. Sob. I'm here for you. Aww. I'll be by your side. We can't have three, but I know us two can be happy. Ophelia, why would you... Because we're friends, aren't we? Friends? Yeah! Friends! Uh... Ophelia... We'll always be together! Yeah! Aww! Oh, that's so sweet! That's so cute. Ophelia, thank you. What are friends for, right? <laughs> Me, Sal. I'm back in the dreaded classroom. What's gonna happen now? Ha uh ha! -huh. Was it a dream? Thank you. Aw, you're welcome. No, it wasn't. Misao, I'll never, ever forget you. Aww. The power of friendship. <laughs> Wait, so what happened with Toma? Is he like Stucky stuck forever in the realm of death? <laughs> oh, it's, it's Mr. Onigawara! What? Wait, what's going on? Is there like some mystery story going on back there? Wait, is Ayaka alive again now? She didn't... Wait, did she have a grave? I can't remember. Whoa, lots of babies. So wait, did Toma and Ayaka get together and make babies? What's going on? Oh, this guy's so pretty. Yay. <laughs> Is it all better now? Is everyone alive alive? I don't think so. Aww. That's such a cute picture. So yay! I finally set myself free! That's awesome! So what happens now? Oh, please enter the secret password. 11 characters. Use the keyboard or escape to cancel. Um... Okay. I, I don't really know this from off the top of my head, but I do remember that, that Markiplier had to look this up. So, if I remember correctly, I think I know what it is. It was, um, Abandon Hope? Ha ha! <laughs> do 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 do! Welcome to the rec room! Okay, cool. Hi! It's a bloody me! Oh, bloody Aki. Thank you for playing me, Sal. It was loaded with silly traps, but still, did you enjoy it? I sure indeed did. It was absolutely awesome and enjoyable and thrilling and all spoopy silliness indeed. So many silly traps. I'm glad if you enjoyed it. Enjoy this bonus room too. 
Awesome! Okay, so I got a spinny head save point. Save? Sure, why not? Cozy cool. Boop! Hey, Mr. Onigawara, what's up? Ah, yes, what will it be? Um, about Onigawara. Onigawara is a real mystery. Maybe the truth on him will never fully come to light. He's certainly not human, we can say that. Some of Misao's parts, an example, her torso, didn't need to be found because Onigawara already sacrificed them in advance. So goes the rumor. Okay. <laughs> uh, what about the Onigawara design secrets? Initially, I simply made Onigawara because I needed a save point. I agonized over whether to make him chairman of the board or student council president. His original name was Onizuka. I made it Onigawara to be a little more unusual. I just wanted to have Oni in there. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> oh yeah, everyone needs an Oni. Ah, uh, hey, let me up here. Hey, there's a blood stain. Whoops, I forgot to draw a thumb. Ah, I'm missing my thumb. <laughs> Okay. Common event donors. FSL, emote icons. Roki, light in the darkness. K-ring command. Oh, hello, Mr. Murdery Teach. Listen carefully to my lectures. About soda? Or soda design secrets? Uh, about soda. A mysterious suave teacher, but he's really a murderer with a dark past. Soda was suspicious from the start. Maybe lots of people predicted he was bad news. Yeah, yeah, probably. This doesn't really impact the story, but Soda wasn't ever attacked because the evil spirits were too scared to come near. And that's because Misao feared Soda. Misao and the spirits are linked in a sense. Not completely one and the same, as they attack people she has nothing against. Aki killing Soda was unexpected to Misao. Maybe Misao thought sacrificing Toma would make for a happier outcome. By killing Toma, he'd be hers forever, but killing Soda puts him in a grave forever. Either way, Misao's spirit is saved. However, sacrificing Toma, it's likely Misao's spirit would never move on. Hmm. Alright, what about your design secrets? Making the teacher a villain was planned from the start. He was just plain kind from the outset, but soon took on a mysterious air. To be honest, his hair is designed like a young detective from some foreign TV drama. <laughs> Alrighty then. The zombie. <laughs> the first version was made for fun in the author's spare time. It's rough around the edges, but look at the big picture. <laughs> Please be my friend! Oh, what about Miss Library? Similar to Onigawara, Library is a mystery. She's not human either. She seems to be Onigawara's servant. She has a fear of humans and only listened to Aki because she smelled like her. Huh? Maybe Aki's not human. So what the heck am I then? What the hecky heck am I? <laughs> what am I? Uh, alright, what about your design secrets? Library was made to give out hints. I couldn't think of a good name, so I let the player decide. TL Novella was my idea. She was going to murder Toma initially. There's traces of that in Toma ending up in the library, and if you play the boy in version 2... If you haven't seen it, I hope you enjoy it when you do. It's just a minor thing. Don't get your hopes up! Oh, hi. This game was based on the concept of finding scattered parts of a girl with characters and story, then added. The author watches lots of B-movie horror flicks, so there's some influence there. There's something the author wishes to tell everyone through this game, and that is... Watch out for creeper teachers! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Gotta avoid those creepy teachies. Well, why you? When I get out of here, I'll... Alright, calm down, Yoshino. Don't get your panties up in a knot. Yoshino is really just a coward. She only bullies those weaker than her. That's why Satome, with more friends uh, and charm, is exempt from her wrath. <laughs> Seemed to like Toma despite his girlfriend. She has an unexpectedly earnest side. Alright. Being a bully was set from the start, so she... So she looks like a mean character. I think she looks more a delinquent than a bully. Originally, originally named Sasayama, her art was designed based on her sprites. So that was pretty easy, actually. Most characters were designed from sprites. So that's your design secret secret. There's a lot of stuff in here to hear. It ain't my fault! Yeah, it is! About Toma. Toma is a trendy guy. He looks bad, but he brings in the ladies. But inside, he's the ultimate klutz. Even Aki is astounded at times. It must be the good looks that she didn't ditch him. Eh, maybe. 
He's left in the other world in the true ending, but I leave it up to the players to imagine if he ever made it back or what. Oh, so I was right, see right. He is trapped there forever. He was utterly toying with me, Sal. He thought Satome was a good girl, too. But it's unlikely he was serious about her. Just like Ayaka says, he's nothing but a seducer. Seems he tried to seduce library while in the library. <laughs> this becomes evident in the boy route. See for yourself how that turns out. Oh, God. What about your design secrets? Tell me your secrets! I made a guy who's putting on an act inside and out. He's a bad boy, but as someone Misao falls for, he couldn't look too scary. BAM! Cool dude! His original name was Kita. Seemed too ordinary, so this is what she got. It's a very dazzling name. Ha ha ha! Alright, uh... Hey, eh! Misao! Alright, Kudo, come your jean jeans there. Kudo is a character is uh Kudo is a character who's never rewarded, but in the true ending his feelings save him. But was that was that last Misao real or just another illusion? I'll let the players decide that one. Anyway, Kudo was like a big brother to Misao, no love involved. So no, Misao didn't hate Kudo, but Kudo's love was never requited. Um, Kudo looks like a nice guy, but he's not so nice in personality. He's gloomy, and I bet he makes posts bad-mouthing people on the internet. Bonus, Kudos hate rank. Toma, Yoshino, and himself. <laughs> Alright then. What are your secrets? What dark secrets do you have? Originally named Kawamura. Way too stupid, so I thought something more serious. And Kudo was born. He's made to contrast Toma on the inside and outside. Just looks like this weird boy now. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, wow. It's the damn skeleton! It's Mr. Bonesy Bones! Even here, Onigawara's hiding something. Look for it if you like. Can't believe that scoundrel, though, pretending to be student council president. What a brat! Okay. Oh, it's Maho and Miho. Me and, me and Miho are always together. A girl mentioned only by name in the bad end. I actually had plans for a sequel with her once. More honest than Aki. Hey now! I'm honest! How dare you! Without Maho, I'll be all alone again! A girl in the bad end changed her graphics in version 2. Maho is a vigorous girl, Miho is feeble, and thus clings to Maho. The two get along like twins. Oh, there's Ayaka. Mr. Soda is as suave as ever! Yeah, and he murdered you! <laughs> That's what you get for believing in creepy teachies! Uh, alright. What's about you, Ayaka? Aki's best friend, natural stalker, a fat follower, and thus total doofus. She's the one character who's not two-faced. Revived in the true ending by Onigawara, she's fond of him, so she'll likely begin a new life of stalking in the other world. Alright, what's all your secrets? A character created to reinforce Soda's... yeah. <laughs> Plus, the protagonist seems sort of friend friendless, so she's Aki's best friend to boot. She's the one I regretted killing most. That's why I revived her in the true ending. Ha 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 ha! Ah, okay, so she was brought back. And the whole concept of guilt. The concept of hiding in a corpse actually comes from a foreign cartoon. Hmm, I wonder which one. I don't have a cluesy clue. Don't look at me. Yeah, I'm scared. All right, Satome. Popular with many friends, thanks to her good girl act, she certainly looks the part. She doesn't really hate Nisao, posting the text was just a joke. But dating Toma, she couldn't forgive. She might seem like a flighty broad, but she really seemed to like Toma. Everyone seems to like Toma! He's just a blonde douche! As soon as I knew Toma would have a girlfriend, there she was. Gold ponytail and big breast. Name and nickname were decided from the start. I am rather fond of Satome's face sprite. Her clothes make her look like a secretary, though. Ha 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 ha! Alright. What's up with the plants? Oh, I guess I just walk over them. Oh my good god, there's a lot. Hey! It's Drakey! For the characters, some inspiration was taken from Revelations. Perso, I mean, from my head. I like that lonely atmosphere. Hi, Misao. Thank you for finding me. You're welcome! The tragic heroine Misao, friendless and far away from family, she lived a lonely life. She fell for a man, her polar opposite. She longed for Toma, and maybe the feelings were mutual. She's an obedient girl, but hides a tricky personality inside. That said, she definitely wouldn't wish unhappiness on anyone when alive. She's likely the nicest of all the characters. 
Uh, what about her dark design secrets? Horribly bullied, you know. Tragic heroine and all. Forgive me for that. Me, Sal, but I had a story to write. Since it's said she never stood out, I gave her a very simple design, but I was surprised by the response of her being seen as cute. Misao being bullied by her classmates was there from the beginning, but most of the ending stuff was decided much later. Even I didn't think this would end up being a game that struggled to claim 15 and up. <laughs> wow. Oh my. What indeed was this machine? Even the author doesn't know. <laughs> wow. Oh, I remember you, you jackass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you better get out of here. Get out. Oh, good God. That just reminds me of Mad Father right there. Straight out of a B-movie. <laughs> Don't touch my Toma! Friends. Aw. Forgive me, Miso. Oh, that's when I died by the damn freaking plant. Herc! Uh, oh, my heart! Uh, I hurt, I hurt. I hurt it so hard. After killing Soda, his corpse is hidden. Look for it, please. Screw that guy! Did you know there's a place to dodge between the boulders? Yeah, after a little while of figuring that out, jeez, I got ran over like how many times? I can't even keep, I can't even keep count of it. She's hiding somewhere. Look for her if you never found her. Well, I found that. I remember the most quickly offed character. Yep, <laughs> she was offed real fast. They're passionately kissing. Get a room. Yeah, really. What is that? How many times are you gonna fall, lady? Oh, <laughs> the Spanoopy Doop! No one accepts me. We're friends, aren't we? About Aki, the story's protagonist, an ordinary question mark high school girl and problem child, lives alone and off campus, unlike many other students. Tends to focus on one thing and ignore the rest. That aspect is the main reason she goes to certain lengths for me, Sal. The I'll be the sacrifice line, well, that was no joke. She really would be ready to die for Misao. That honest personality of hers might have been stopped in its tracks by Onigawara's glare. Okay then, what, you gonna stare me down, bald man? Bring it on, baldy! <laughs> what about my design secrets? Aki's design like an old shujo manga heroine. She was more normal to begin with. Um, I like ridiculous surreal gags, so I put lots of such jokes in the game. That part of her has no real meaning, it's just for fun. Part of her personality not being too distinct is I didn't want her to stand out too much. I considered a silent protagonist at first. I agonized over whether I should write her name with the character for Demon, hinting at a half-demon, half-human situation. If I make a sequel and it reveals her secrets, I think I'd like to do that with her name. Oops, I just spoiled it! <laughs> I have no plans at all. Sorry. Alright, one last thing. Who were you again? I don't think I found you. I'll always protect you! Oh, about Aki M? Is this the male version of me? What? Another protagonist selectable for a second, second go had the same personality as girl Aki at first. Oh! But it is, uh, but it is a little more serious in the new version. I only wanted to draw Aki F as and Misao being friends in the true ending, so you can't choose him for that. No boys allowed. <laughs> okay, then what's his design secrets? It was boring having an identical second playthrough, so I made him was going to make his default name Akito. Just his tone was different in the old version, so that was pretty pointless. Ah, the new version has some slight personality changes, so check them out. Huh, so you could play a boy and a girl version of Aki. All right then. Um, let's go ahead and save the save then. Boop. All right. So um, um, I need to leave. Wait. Let's return. Thanks for visiting. Alright you guys, so that is finally the end of Misao, and all I have to say is, 
Wow, this game was absolutely phenomenal and I had an absolute blast playing it. It is definitely an adventure worth experiencing and having, so if you guys have not got to play me saw personally for yourselves, I highly recommend that you do so because it is definitely an experience you're not going to forget. I know I'm not. So anyways, besides that, I do know that um, the thing I do have to say is that the puzzles were kind of a little frustrating from time to time, but you can eventually figure them out. It just takes a little bit of patience um but besides that the game was really well done definitely worth playing and if you guys would like to see me play any other games that are like me sal or anything that is a little bit of a mini series please go ahead and let me know down in the comments below not the description because again that is my job but if you guys would like to see more games like this in the future then please feel free to let me know i would definitely look into it and definitely would like to play more games like this so anyways guys, Misao is finally free and now all our souls live happily on to continue forward into another life when we will be reborn again. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I will see you all again in the next video. Bye bye! Hello? Oh, I'm an idiot. Boulders left and right. Oh yay. Uh oh. A boulder's in the way, might be broken with a heavy blow. You can't destroy it barehanded. But I have a bouncy bat, so how do I select it? Ew! It is pulsating! It's convulsing! That's disgusting! But what is you? What is the point of you? What do you do? Okay, bye! I'm gonna go buck me a teacher now!